Big day for you today, huh? Big day and also it's going to be a very cold day for me. So Dale is checking off one of day. his uh, China bucket list items, which is what? Ice swimming or <laughs> ice, ice diving or bathing. I don't know how you say it. Despite the icy temperatures here in Dongbei, the northeast of China, swimming in winter is incredibly popular with locals. And most cities here have a winter swimming club where locals and visitors alike can come freshen up, so to speak. I mean, I think he's crazy. It's the middle of winter. It's freaking cold. The site of today's ice swimming adventure is here at Nanhu Lake in Changchun, where there's apparently a winter swimming club that meets every day to plunge into this frozen river. In summer, it's a beach, like a, I guess a beach club. Yeah, this section of the lake is actually known as Jinshatan Beach, and in summer, it's always packed with people and tents, and of course, lots of people swimming. It's not an actual beach, I've just imported some sand from probably Sanya, I mean, People from Dongbei, they really love going to Sanya, so they're probably bringing back all the sand with them when they come back and putting it here on this beach. I got all my stuff that I need for afterwards. Inside, we've packed a towel as well as a bathrobe, slides for when you get out of the pool, and then lots and lots of warm gear to help warm up after the plunge, like mittens, a warm hat, instant hand and foot heat packs, and some hot water. Yeah, I've basically started taking cold showers since December last year. Do you think that's gonna help? <clears throat> I think it's definitely gonna help because uh, you start getting used to the cold and uh, you also start controlling your the breathing which is a key element if you do a cold shower or you go into an ice bath you need to control your breathing um, to stay calm Oh my just, god! Just accept the cold. Huh? You see they're, they're two naked guys, oh, not <laughs> naked but like with their with their uh, speedos on and they're going into the water, you see? I think it was at that moment the reality of what he was about to do hit Dark. I think what's most impressing me is just seeing like the, the unhurried nature of some of these more seasoned winter ice swimmers. They just have not a care in the world. They're walking towards the lake, like they're walking towards the beach on a summer's day. It's very, very impressive. And some people really go full out with costumes and everything. Here we have a team of Iron Man mermaids. Seems to be quite some logistics involved in making this work. I've heard the key to this is getting in super slowly rather than jumping in right away. But to be honest, either way is super impressive to me. Some of the advanced swimmers here can actually persevere in here for up to 20 minutes. It's crazy. Of course. Okay. Do I to take the track? Yes, yes, yes. So just like that, Dirk head inside the Changchun Winter Swimming Clubhouse with an Iron Man mermaid. So we've just entered this winter swimming clubhouse and Dirk has been just embraced. Um, he's been taken into the men's change room. So I guess he's gonna get changed and um, yeah, it looks like this is gonna be happening. So today Dirk's lucky enough to have someone who actually speaks a little bit of English, giving him a helping hand, showing him the ropes. But here in China, that's very rarely gonna be the case. Before coming to China or really going anywhere, I'd really recommend always learning even just a little bit of the local language so that you can really get in there and experience all the things, whether that be ice swimming or really whatever is on your mind. Don't let your language hold you back. Instead, why not consider giving Rosetta Stone a try? So Rosetta Stone, the partner of today's video, is a language learning app that teaches through immersion. And it provides a language learning experience that actually helps you learn faster and retain more. I've been using Rosetta Stone for years, first with Chinese, now with German, and something about Rosetta Stone's use of repetition has those key phrases and that vocab sticking around in my head for a lot longer than if I had just sat down with a textbook to rote memorize. And as you may or may not know, Chinese is a tonal language and how you say things really matter. So thanks to audio grabs from native speakers, as well as the pronunciation tool in Rosetta Stone, it has you repeating phrases until you say it exactly correctly. So if you'd like to try out Rosetta Stone for yourself, this is the time to try it because there is currently a 60% off sale. So for 149 American dollars, that's discounted from 399 American dollars, by the way, you're gonna get lifetime access to all the languages that Rosetta Stone offers. So for whatever your holiday destination, whatever you wanna experience, Rosetta Stone is gonna be there to help you immerse yourself in it. And talking of immersing, some of you may be wondering, will I be immersing my body in this icy water today? The uh, answer is 100% no, that is not going to be happening. 
I'm definitely a hot shower girly. Maybe it's something for another day. But that day is not today. Today is all about Dirk and his adventure. Okay. Shut up, okay? So remember, go in slowly. No jumping. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Then it was time to get in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so the first time going into the water was quite the experience. Very, very cold, of course. And I was trying to control my breathing, as you can see. <laughs> but I couldn't stay in the water for long. So uh, the first time was, I guess, only about the experience and see uh, how it is to be in the in the in the freezing water. Uh, it's everything is numb. Okay, let's go inside right now. You cannot imagine. What did it feel like? It's like it's like a thousand needles. Like this, it stinks. I, I'm completely numb. I cannot feel anything. We'll go and warm up inside, and then maybe you'll feel amazing after all those mental health benefits you keep telling me about. <laughs> At the moment, it looks pretty miserable to me. Oh. I'll come again. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do it again? I'll warm up and come again. Did I just hear him say he wants to do it again? But turns out round two wouldn't be in the cards for today. I'm done for today. <laughs> it's too cold. But he did get an invite to join the winter swimming WeChat group called the Chongchun Ice Ducks, which I think is so cute. It's crazy, like the showers inside, it's like 10 degrees. So it's not really warm, yeah. but like coming out of the water, everything is, everything is warmer than... <laughs> Than that ice ice water. Are you gonna do it again? Yeah, definitely. Next weekend, I wanna do it again. Do you think it's something I could do? No. Yeah. If I start taking cold showers today mm. and do it for a week, do you think I'd be ready for next weekend? You will be ready. And even if you're in for like half a minute. Half a minute, or I think if I can seconds. get in for, if I can submerge my body, I will already be happy. I'm the girl that finds it hard to get even into a pool in summer. It would be like the ultimate challenge for me. I guess if I'm actually gonna do this, I've um, got, the, <laughs> got to bite the bullet and take a cold shower. I mean, I've had cold showers before, camping, hot water outages, you know, the usual thing. But this is my first time electively choosing to shower in cold water and it's a real mental game, especially knowing you can just turn the knob and end the discomfort immediately. I tried to remember what Delk said about controlling my breathing. It worked a little bit, but in the end, I couldn't stay in for more than a minute. That was shit. <laughs> I only managed to get my arms and legs in. My body, I, I couldn't move tomorrow. The day has arrived, it is one week later. I have been doing my cold showers all week, which I'm, I'm very proud of myself for persevering. And I have to say I have seen some improvements. I, the first day I could hardly get a few body parts in, but by the end of the week I actually was, man I managed to submerge my head in cold water, which I think is a huge achievement for me. And today we are he currently heading towards the frozen lake. We both have goals in mind. Your goal is what? One minute. He wants to be in for one minute, so I'm going to be timekeeping him. For me, my goal is to just try. I don't know what that involves. I'm not putting expectations on myself. I don't want to push myself too hard, but I want to. I just want to see how it goes. I've, I'm wearing my swimsuit. I'm wearing, <laughs> well, we're just going over the frozen lake now. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Here we go. It's Chinese New Year's Eve, but it's business as usual here at the Winter Swimming Club, man. These guys are impressive. And Delk has actually been roped into a New Year's Eve themed photo shoot on the river here. She's back in her Iron Man mermaid outfit there. Delk sitting with the mermaid. What is happening? Delk looks so confused. And then meanwhile, over here, we've got this happening. Delk. Hello! Hello! <laughs> He's got a trumpet. It's very impressive. They've been outside for 20 minutes, like exercising, running around the lake. And now they are inside yelling and singing. <laughs> they seem very happy. And seeing them there so happy and living their best lives, I couldn't help but want a slice of that for myself. So I got myself into that clubhouse, got changed, and got ready to give this a go. I'm so nervous. I think I'll do some warm-ups. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah, you're so cool. Hi, 
I never thought I would actually do this. <laughs> the whole thing was honestly just an out of body experience. Oh, so cold. Oh, no. <laughs> Challenge number one was just getting outside and being outside in minus 15 degrees in just my swimmers was just shockingly cold. And people wanted to keep stopping and taking photos, but I was just so cold. I was like, let's go, let's go, let's get this done. Thank you. Take a, take a picture, come on, take a picture over there. We did get our picture and uh, then it was time to get in. Oh my God, okay. Oh my God, here's my towel. Okay, okay. My feet are so cold already. What is happening? Oh gosh. No, 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 no. I can't do it. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. Sorry, guys. I tried. Now it's time for Dirk. Today, one minute. Okay. One minute. The worst part is taking off the shoes. Well, I guess I didn't even get past the first few steps, but taking off the shoes and here it's just ice. So you're just stepping on ice. That's what stopped me. Okay, I'm timing. I knew what to expect and I knew what was coming. Yeah, I was able to control my breathing and uh, actually I was swimming a little bit around and uh, yeah, then afterwards, after a minute, I finished. You did it! How's it feel this time compared to last time? Uh, much, much better. <laughs> Maybe. You know. <laughs> The, the good thing is you know what to expect and you can prepare mentally and but it was one minute was enough <laughs> one minute I did I feel disappointed in myself like I, I'm really I'm proud of myself for trying and even just getting outside in my swimmers in such cold conditions was already like a huge mental task for me as an Australian I'm, I'm still very much getting used to these like really cold temperatures so um, I got my feet in I think that was, that's the thing that got me. My whole body was just screaming, no, no, no. Um, so it was just too much for me today, but I don't like being defeated by something. So you guys know that I'm gonna keep doing this until I can actually do it. Oh, Jack, I failed. No, no, I know that, okay. It's oh, the I'm sad. Oh, it's like, okay, it's like, okay. I couldn't uh -huh. do it. And uh, do you want to take another try? Another try? Yeah, maybe next time. Next time. <laughs> oh, what a legend. He's just so happy. The people are just so happy to be doing this here. And the people are just so full of life and like energy. I cannot believe the things that people here are doing. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching this video. <sighs> Wish me luck next time. <laughs> I'll see you next week on my channel. Bye guys.